this is our patient. He just had a stellate ganglion block and um, for some spasticity and tightness and pain. So we were doing it diagnostically to determine how much of this was autonomically mediated. And this pain spread through the left shoulder, left arm, through several of the radicular distributions, as well as up into the facial distribution. And so um, we're a couple minutes out now from the stellate ganglion block. And how are you feeling? I can feel a definite difference on the left side of my face. Um, I can feel the ptosis. It's hard to lift my eyelid on that side. <laughs> Um, it, my face is extremely relaxed comparatively on this side, at my neck, and even down into my shoulder and my arm. Um, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> Just as totally relaxed and interesting. And with that, so what were kind of your symptoms that you were having in the face and the arm and shoulder before the injection? So a lot of tightness, and along with that tightness, the pain that comes with it. Um, it's very difficult for me to open my jaw. Um, a lot easier now. Um, I have uh, a lot of gravel sounding stuff in my jaw when I'm moving it. On this side it's almost gone. Uh -huh. On this side it's still pretty intense. Interesting. Uh, but just the crepitus has gone down a ton. Yeah. Um, the same with my shoulder. Usually I can get it to pop pretty loud when I'm moving around and there's almost nothing now. And what about the nerves going down the arm? Like the, it's about down to the elbow. Um, yeah. The bicep and the tricep are really relaxed, um, but then things tighten up about the elbow and the forearm. Yeah, that's interesting because we went at the C6 level, which, like I described, is above the C7 where the ganglion normally sits, mm -hmm. and we used kind of a normal amount. I didn't want to overdo things on the first injection, so it numbed up that stellate ganglion with about five cc's of the two percent lidocaine. Mm -hmm. And so it may not fully distribute down lower. And everybody's a little anatomically different with the stellate ganglion, but yours was fairly apparent. And we took kind of a lateral approach here on the side of the neck where we just came in this way and approached the ganglion behind the carotid and in that prevertebral fascia from a lateral approach, um, partly because the thyroid did have a nodule and a thyroid artery and vein that were kind of in the way there. So. We just avoided going through the anterior approach that way. It so. does make sense with the C6 distribution because I can feel a little bit in my thumb. Interesting. Yeah. Not much else past that book. Yeah. And the nice thing with ultrasound guidance is we were able to avoid the nerve roots as well. I could visualize them and go right in between the descending nerve roots and get right in that fascia without zinging anything. So. No, I didn't feel a thing. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Thanks a lot.